Hey everyone, JT here with another Cards and Beers, except we're changing it up a little bit. So as you guys have noticed, it's been a while since there's been a Cards and Beers video. It's probably been over six months. Summer came, you know, got busy, not a lot of product out. Um, you know, you guys know me, I don't do a bunch of basketball, so there's a bunch of basketball product that I just didn't really do. I love soccer, there was a bunch of soccer product, I did rip a bunch of soccer. Didn't rip any on the channel. I wish I would have, but it's one of those things where I got it and just was excited to open it. Never really set up the video, but we're changing it up. We're coming back. We're going to try to get more freaking with these videos, and we're not necessarily going to be cards and beers anymore. Obviously, I love cards, I love beers, but we're going to uh, we're gonna try to push the, the breaking site a little bit more um, for Twin Cities Breaks. So everything is going to kind of like be previews to what we may break on Twin Cities Break. Um... So here today, we're actually going to do a box of Optic. Picked this up at a card show actually just tonight. And I was thinking, I have some Mosaic. Um, I know a lot of people don't like the unlicensed stuff. To be honest with you, I don't really love it either. But um, some of the product is very well priced for what you get. Um, I think I paid one, one something, 120 for this box, 130 for two autos and you have a chance at a hot box, which is kind of the reason why I went with this box because I wanted a, that chase for a hot box, which I think is five autos. Um, so we are going to do some stuff with um, Optic. We are going to do some stuff. Um, I have some mosaic baseball first off the lines coming and we're going to do pack wars on that. So if you guys don't already know, the Facebook group is on the bottom of the screen that has our Facebook group and if you want to get a part of the pack wars that are going to start up um what I'm going to do for first off the line mosaic is it's going to be like $25 a spot and basically low, lowest serial there's 10 spots lowest serial number wins the whole box so you know it's a, basically a $25 bet one in 10 chance of winning the whole box of mosaic and then when the when the box is over and we've established a winner we may do like um we may do like a a bid off you know sometimes some of the guys are like that was fun it's cool I don't necessarily want the box i'll sell my box um, or sell the cards that were in the box to someone in the group so a bunch of ways to make some money or even win some cards so keep keep an out look out for the um, pack wars but i'm probably gonna do some pack wars of optic too see if we can get a hot box so just gonna be pushing the site a little bit more with these videos lots of cards and beers more just twin cities breaks and show you guys what's in some of these boxes um again i got this box tonight at a card show i actually picked it up along with a box of a sealed box i ripped it already chronicle soccer um which was fun i pulled the box was very bad until the end and then i got the um pedri purple mojo so i was pretty excited about that so um yeah let's go ahead and let's get into this and then um like i said join the facebook group if you wanted to uh join any breaks and for you guys that just wanted to see the break. I hopefully um, you fast forward in through through all that. So as you guys know, Optic unlicensed product. Um, let's see, move some stuff around. Unlicensed product, so we're not gonna have jerseys with logos on them, which turns a lot of people off. And right be it so, I get that. That's fair. Um, but the product is still fun. It's reasonably priced. I mean, there isn't unless you're buying like a box of. Uh, top series one paper cards really not getting anything for the price of this um and especially with top series one you're definitely not getting a hobby box with two autos so and you're not getting a chance for a hot box so i think it's fun rip for the price resale value on um singles are always going to be less but you pull something big enough it can be good so the configuration is two autos per box, 40 cards per pack, or I'm sorry, four cards per pack, tw 20 packs. So you get a lot of packs for the price. Card show I went to today was um, was in, uh, obviously, I'm in, Min I'm in Minnesota, so it's in Minnesota, but it was in the mall, and uh, it was good. I had, a, I had a good time. I made some trades. I picked up, you guys all know that I really enjoy soccer. So here are my pickups. Uh, made some trades. I was hoping to sell some stuff, but everyone was kind of looking to trade, so we did some trading. It was fun. All right, let's, let's see what we got in here. So what we're hoping for is a hot box, um, which gives you 
two or five autos or five numbered cards. And you get rated rookies and you get a lot of cool fun stuff. A lot of fun stuff in here. Now I will say this. I bought this box from a vendor. Um, so who knows? And it was uns it wasn't like in a sealed case or anything. So who's to say that maybe that the box is already the, the hot box is already hit. You never know. And they're just selling off the other ones. So we'll see. Uh, there we go. Diamond Kings. See if we can get up here closer. There we go. So it's kind of what they look like. This is a Diamond Kings card. The base card's coming up next. So Bobby Dahlback, rated rookie base. Um, pull from the back. Nate Pearson's the rookies. So it's similar. It's exactly like um, Donruss's baseball, and it's exactly like Donruss uh, football. It's right now, and this is what Donruss and Optic basketball will look like next year. So Bobby Dahlbeck, and then we have a, a blue. I'm not sure if these are numbered. Base blue of Randy Arozarena, and that is to 50. So Arozarena with a good um, postseason. You know, they got eliminated, but that's a big sleep. But he, um, you know, looked good again. And I think, I want to be, I think he can win Rookie of the Year. Which is strange because he doesn't have a rookie card in this product. I keep grabbing the big sleeves. He doesn't have a rookie card in this product or in this year. His rookies were last year. But he wasn't eligible for rookie of the year last year. So this year, he is a rookie. So to 50, Randy Rosarania. So it's good if we got a numbered card in our first pack. Maybe that's a sign that we got the numbered, numbered uh, hot box. Looks like we have a insert Donaldson, Lariona, and then an optic of Ryan Sandberg mythical, and then a base mythical of, of Jordan Alvarez. So that's the the hollow, just like in optic football and and um, basketball, you do get hollows. So just one numbered card so far. So we got Vladdy, who sh should win L A AL MVP. We'll see. Luan Diaz, that's a rated rookie. Pull from the back. Alex Rodriguez, mythical. And we have a hollow of Acuna, and that is the Unleashed. Those are not numbered, but that Unleashed card is very cool. If you remember it, they did have the Unleashed in a regular... Um, Donruss unleashed Acuna. So I don't know how to tell autos. I don't know if they put them backwards or not. So we we may get surprised by an auto. We may not be able to slow roll the auto. Oof, this is struggling with that back. Alright, who we got? Austin Meadows. Juan Soto. Christian Pache, rated rookie, and a lights out, Lucas Giolito. So we haven't hit any more number cards, so I think our hot box chances are basically out at this point. Darians B. Swanson. Trevor Bauer, another hollow insert. Trevor Story, hollow insert. And then there's the base unleashed, the unhollowed version. Oh, this is number card. I thought it was a little different. So this looks like a purple. This is the red, white, and blue. Trevor Story, red, white, and blue. They have lots of different, if you remember from Donruss, lots of different like parallels. So this is Trevor Story to 199. You know, that's just the one thing I will say about the Panini baseball product is you get a lot of a lot of serial numbered cards. There's a Jared Kalenic. So Jared Kalenic will be in update series for taps. He is, he'll have his first card in update. Kalenic. Charlie Blackman. 
Rated rookie hollow of oof, pitcher hollow bummer. Rated rookie Riley Green. A rated prospect. That one's rated prospect. So that's basically like kind of like um Panini's Bowman card. Or prospect Bowman. That'd have been that'd have been nice to have a hollow better hollow rated rookie there, but we'll take it. All right, let's see. Do we have our auto yet? Nope. All right. Eloy. David Peterson. Then we have a Poolo, Pools Hollow. And a Ronnie Mauricio. Rated, and that's a rated prospect as well. So I have seen some decent autos come out of these boxes. All right. Charlie Schmidt. This may be our auto, otherwise I don't know why they'd have three. So Clark Schmidt, Tanner Houck, yep, to 50. Nate Pearson. Pitcher auto, but Nate Pearson's really good. Nate Pearson is a stud. So, and, uh, you know, the nice thing too, most Panini product is um, sticker autos. And so the other auto in this box more than likely will be a sticker auto. Um, but you do get one, at least one on-card auto. So Nate Pearson, on-card auto, 11 of 50. So pitcher auto, kind of a bummer. But um, we'll have to do that guy up right there. But um, at least on-card, at least rookie. And at least numbered. I mean, it's a numbered one. So, there's that. All right. Rizzo. Kremper. Vladdy. Not numbered. And then T minus zero. Joey Gallo. And those are not numbered as well. And as you guys look at my screen, you'll see on the right-hand side, I'm wondering what that big empty um, gold spot is. That will be where we do the um, teams for breaks. We'll see who you have in that space. Uh, Acuna base, Vado base, minus, or T minus, 3, 2, 1, Hollow, Aaron Judge. Barry Larkin, base, Mythical. So very much like all the other optic products, you do get lots and lots and lots of inserts. We have a hollow. Nope, not a hollow. Keston. Chaz just on base. It's a nice one. Oh, I itch it. Sorry guys. There's our hollow of Scherzer. And our rated prospect of Nolan Jones. So nothing crazy so far. I've seen some gold vinyls come out of these boxes. Buxton, who I don't think will be on the team next year. There's our Nate Pearson base to go with our auto. And then a Mike Trout Unleashed. Too bad that wasn't a hollow or a numbered one. That'd be cool. That'd have been cool. The unleashed cards are cool. I want to say they are one for every one in every other pack, or every two packs or three packs. So no auto yet. We have Yastrzemski. We have Alcantara. We have a rated prospect of Matt Manning. And then a one a so two a mythical. Auto. There comes our auto, and it looks like a vet auto. All right, Paven Smith, Brent Rooker for the Minnesota Twins. T minus a three two one. John Carlo Stanton and our vet 
is retro. Lance Lynn. Ugh. That's a pretty bad one, though. That doesn't, that may not even get a sleeve. So that's what I've seen, basically, in all these boxes. You get a rated rookie auto and on card auto, and you get kind of a, kind of a trash second auto. Baez. Rafael Devers. Heston Kieran. So we did not get the, the hot box. Got hope for some more numbered cards. Pete Alonzo. Chris Paddock. Joey Bart, the rookies. Or black. Oh, that's, that's a tease kind of the rookies. So rated rookie Rafael Marchan to 149. I saw the like, usually black is uh, like 101. It would have been cool to hit a 101. But it's not. It's black and it's 149. So it's a tease, basically. All right, what do we got here? Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and take out our other numbered card, so we can recap it at the end. And the Cunha Hollow is a nice card. We didn't even we didn't even sleeve up that uh or we didn't yeah, we didn't put a sleeve on that Lance Lynn. Lance Lynn actually played for the twins for a little while. So this is like that star parallel which you usually see in like H two boxes. Alright, we probably are due for maybe one more numbered card. Kyle Tucker is having a good postseason. Luis Garcia. Whit Merrifield Hollow. Zach Veen, rated prospect. I want like a, um, I want one of those like velocity. Logan Gilbert. Fernando Tatis, Zach McHenry, T minus three, two, one, Freddie Freeman, Austin Nola, Dane Dunning, a rookie, Lights Out Beaver. Mike Ustremski. It's the last pack. Let's hope for something good. I think we'll get a number card in here. Maybe, maybe not. It's hoping for a velocity. I would have liked to see a velocity. No, nope. we're going to finish out with some base. Jose Barrios, who was on my twins and then traded. Tim Anderson. Shane McClanahan. And lights out Sandy Koufax. So there is our optic box. I would say it was... I'd say it was okay. Nothing crazy. Probably not the value of what um, it costs. But with the va with Optic, you're chasing that hot box, that five autos. So a couple of the cards to pull out from this break. Um, we have the... Trevor Story, red, white, and blue, and that is number to 199. We have the Acuna Hollow Unleashed, not numbered, but it is the hollowed version. We have the Raphael Monchain, that is a rated rookie to 149. We have Randy Arozarena, and that is to 50. And then final, we have the Nate Pearson. On card auto to 50 as well. So these, that's purple. This is blue. Not sure why they're both to 50, but is what it is. So there's our break. I, 
I'd say it was I say it was okay. Nothing wonderful. I'd say I probably did just as okay in my Chronicles solo box. Um, so I will take the pickups from the card show as my victory for these two. So, all right, everyone. Um, like I said, keep track of us at Twin Cities Breaks Facebook group. Um, um, Andrew does a lot of the rip and ships on Friday nights. So check him out if you want to um, get some boxes ripped and shipped to you. And then usually I'm handling the breaks and some of the other stuff, like the pack war we're going to run with Mosaic Baseball. So keep an eye out for that. should be super fun. And then um, we should get back to a more normal more normal uh, YouTube upload here in the uh, near future. So everyone have a uh, wonderful night, and we will talk to you later.